Hi everyone, it's Dr. Hill. I'm really happy to be with you. I'm working in my office today, as you can see. And I wanted to have a few minutes with you where I could talk with you about how your body protects itself. Of course, the immune system. And I think about it in three different ways, protection, strengthen, and then respond. We probably move through that continuum or we're in various places in that continuum at many different times. And I've also thought about how does the body protect itself by the barriers that we have. And so I think about internal environments of immunity, and I think about external environments of immunity. And internally, if we look at it that way, it's pretty easy to understand. We have mucus layers that offer protection for us. We have stomach acid that offers protection for us. We have, of course, the gut, the intestinal flora, and that's a really important element to remember as it plays a significant role in immunity. We also have specialized cells within the body. So we have immune cells. There's B cells and T cells and killer cells and all kinds of different things. We could get into more detail than we need to. And then lastly, we of course have the lymphatic system, which also acts as a part of your internal environment for helping to protect the body. And then we have the external environment, and the external environment is also really easy to understand in that we have the integumentary system. Now the integumentary system is made up primarily of three things. Hair, so we think about hair and not necessarily hair on our head, but we have na hair, for example, in our nasal passage. And this acts as another barrier when we have organisms that might be in the air that we breathe. It acts as another barrier to prevent them from entering into the body. And then, of course, we have skin and we have nails. All of that is acting as a specific barrier. And so that leads us to a natural question. How do we challenge both the internal and the external environments of our body's protective systems? And the way that we do that is through the air that we breathe, it's through the food that we eat, it's through the water that we drink, and it's even from the surfaces that we come in contact with. And so I'd like to take a few minutes and just walk through each of those areas. And the reason I want to do that is because we sometimes forget that the simplest of things that we can do many times become the very, very most beneficial and the most powerful things that we can do. So let's talk about diffusion. Let's talk about the air. Because I think this is one that we tend to overlook when we're thinking about what we can do on a daily basis. I also think it brings its own benefits and its own value. So if we talk about your body's protective systems, we know that one of the key elements is that having adequate amounts of rest. Now, when we talk about rest, we can expand that and we can not just include the amount of sleep that we're getting, but the amount of stress that we deal with on a regular basis, our body's ability to react and respond to that appropriately. I find that using the essential oils is a great way to help the body be at rest and to have adequate amounts of rest. And so think about what you know. Now, I like using several different essential oils, but some of my favorites are Balance Essential Oil. I like Serenity. I love all of the citrus oils. And so choose your favorite essential oil this way to just help your body be at ease. So what do we do to help cleanse the air that we're breathing? Well, there's lots of essential oils that are available for you, as well as you can create some blends or combinations on your own that you might feel are very beneficial. I happen to love Purify Essential Oil. I like the aroma of it. It's very unique and it's very different. Breathe essential oil, On Guard essential oil. I mentioned I love citrus oils. One of my favorite combinations is peppermint and wild orange together. But I also like taking citrus oils and combining them with maybe some of the conifer oils. For example, bergamot is an oil that, or bergamot, I guess you can say it either way, is an oil that we don't talk about very much, but as a citrus oil, has some very powerful benefits. And I like that especially when we combine that essential oil along with maybe a Douglas fir or Siberian fir. The point of diffusion is that we can do it systematically and we can do it regularly. So think about diffusing on a regular basis. Now, the other piece that we'll talk about here in strengthening our body and in helping to respond appropriately is the surfaces that we come in contact with. Now surfaces is not just hard surface, but it's also going to be our skin. 
And so how do we cleanse that? How do we have that be as protected as it possibly can be? Well, one of the things that we know we need to do is we need to wash our hands often. We know we need to clean the surfaces that we're dealing with very often. I like the On Guard products. I think they're some of the best things that we can possibly do and using them once again consistently. Now I like this also because this is a way that you can have some DIY opportunities. So maybe we take a little bit of vinegar and we mix with that some citrus oils or eucalyptus, or maybe it's peppermint. Maybe it's wild orange and peppermint and using that as a surface cleaner. So find some ways that you can do that. Even hand sanitizers become really important on a daily basis for just personal hygiene and keeping our skin as clean as it can be. So I know that we have on guard hand sanitizer, but you can also make your own if you choose to. And then of course, wash your hands. I love the on guard hand soap and that should be a staple and something that you're going to every single day. Now lastly, I wanna talk about food and water. And I know that sounds strange and I wanna talk less about food and water specifically and more about this internal environment of our body's immune system and how that becomes protective for us. So the first thing that I think we overlook is the power of nutrition, the power of daily nutrition. Not only eating the right foods, but making sure we have the right content of vitamins and minerals and we have those stores that are in play. So you know I'm gonna suggest that lifelong vitality is core and central to everything that we do. When we think about the health pyramid that we talk about so often, nutrition plays a significant role with that, along with rest and exercise and many other things. And so think about daily nutrition. What am I doing on a daily basis to help fortify my body? Remember, everything that happens in the body, I've said this many times, is just chemistry. And if it's just chemistry, what is it that drives that chemistry and that opportunity within the body? It's nutrition. It is vitamins and minerals and enzymes and how they work and how they interact together. So please fortify yourselves by using the lifelong vitality. Now we're going to talk a little bit about PB Assist because we mentioned a little bit earlier as we started our discussion that as an internal environment, the gut, our flora, our bio, our, uh, our biodome within the body is incredibly important. And one of the areas that we most challenge, and it's because of the environments that we live in, both in what we're bringing into our body and the external environment that we have, it's also one of the most challenged. I want you to start thinking about the gut flora as more than just its relationship as a barrier for foods and other things that we might ingest. It also plays a critical role in enzyme production and vitamin production within the body. It plays an important role in the catalyst on how some of those things work and interact together. So use PB Assist on a regular basis. And then I can't talk about PB Assist without talking about digestive enzymes because we've talked about this relationship of the value that exists between doing nutritional things like lifelong vitality but your body also needs enzymes. And so we give you digestive enzymes so that your body has an adequate amount of metabolic enzymes to interact with the other nutrition and the sequence of events that have to happen as we metabolize and create opportunities in our body for more than just immunity, but for all things that happen with the body metabolically. So those three all go hand in hand. And so think about those very clearly. And then I'm gonna talk about, just in general, supporting a healthy immune response. We know that our body has a great immune capability. We also know that we face daily challenges that in one way or another may compromise that, or maybe it's not compromised at all, but we find ourselves in cir circumstances where we would like to have more immune capability. And so I think about things that are very specific to that. We, of course, have developed our entire on-guard line of products. Think about it in all the ways that we've talked about. But I also love Copaiba essential oil. And I love Copaiba because we've learned a lot about the endocannabinoid system over the last few years. We've discussed that in great detail. We've talked about the endocannabinoid system and its relationship to the immune system within the body. 
And we've also talked about copaiba, and they've talked about how copaiba interacts with those CB2 receptors that are very specific, even though it's not the only place it is in the body, to the immune system. So, and then lastly, I have several oils that I look to that I think are very powerful, that not so much because they're focused exclusively on this, but the overall value that they bring to us in helping us to sustain ourselves a little bit better. So frankincense, peppermint, citrus oils, digest zen. As we hear those, we can start to think to ourselves, breathe as another example, where maybe those oils could be used for very specific reasons of our own choosing. Think about how we might bring all of those things together. Our greatest desire is not just to share with you the opportunity to have essential oils, but to educate you about them. I'd like to give you a gentle reminder that some of the most powerful things that we can do are some of the most simple things that we have opportunity for. Learning how to use these essential oils in the very basic ways that we've talked about and using them routinely, I believe will be a great benefit to you and your family. I wish you all the very best. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Wellness and happiness